Hello again. This time I decided to use a voiceover to review the updated version of the Suji Bank coin album. This coin album is actually six individual folders for the six circulating South Korean coins, all placed into a slipcase, which we will see here shortly. Suji Bank Korea is one of the main retail companies specializing in numismatics in Korea. A link to a video showing you how to find this coin shop in Myeongdong is in the description for this video below. What you get with this updated coin album is, of course, the slipcase with the six folders for the 1151, 101, 51, 101, and 501 coins nestled inside. And with this coin album system come some extra features that I will address later in the video. They include these stickers you see here and these plastic sleeves. Again, the coin album system itself consists of a sturdy slipcase and six coin folders, each one for the six circulating coins issued by South Korea. The slipcase seems to be constructed of a thick, durable cardstock material. They fit very nicely inside it, too. The overall appearance and durability of the slipcase and the entire set make it seem to be a very quality product that doesn't seem like it would damage very easily. In fact, Suji Bank states in their sales page for this product that this updated 2022 version of these cooling folders are now made of a stronger but lighter weight sheet material than the earlier versions. They also explain that it, that is why the album is much more expensive than before at 75,000 Korean won or 57 US dollars in November 2023 US dollars. Starting with the 1-1 folder, you can see the label right here on the front cover denoting the denomination, and they've included an image of the most recent version of the coin on the left. Let's take a look at the inside of one of these 1-1 coin folders. I'll discuss some of the changes that they made to the 2022 versions of these folders. Some of the folders have the same layout as the older versions and some are different. This 1-1 folder appears to be in the same layout as the older version. When you open the folder right away, what you see over here on the left hand leave is a short history of the coins and images of all the different series of the coin denominations. These are all the different iterations of the coin based on changes over the years in either metal composition and or design. A few important things to notice here are the series identifiers you see here, noted as Korean alphabet letters, which correspond to series 1, 2, 3, or 4, which again denote the changes to the coin in either composition and or design. As you can see, these folders are essentially year sets for each coin denomination, with holes to accommodate a coin for each year in which the denomination was produced. Each hole is backed by a clear acetate material you see here, similar to the slides that one finds in Dansko album products, but this clear acetate is also permanently adhered to the back of the album, as you can see here. Underneath each hole is the year that the coin was struck and then a separation line beneath which appears the number of coins produced at the Korean Mint in that year. The numbers are rendered in millions of pieces, so you see the year 1966 and the number 7 indicating that 7 million 1-1 coins were struck that year. Another thing you notice in this album is that they have these gray dots in between the holes for some of the coins. They describe these gray dots as the years in which the coin was not issued. So for example, you see 1970, and then there's a three-year gap between 1970 and 1974. They put these gray dots with 1, 2, 3 in between 1970 and 1974, indicating that these years, 1971, 72, and 73, were the years that this coin was not minted. You can see it here again between 1985 and 1987, with a gray dot with a 6, indicating that the 1-1 coin does not appear with the year 1986 on it. Let me place a few example coins into this album to show the fit of the coins in their slots. The clear acetate backing protects the coins on the other side. 
The coins should friction fit into the holes without falling out since there is no acetate slide to cover the coins on the inside of the folders as with Dansko albums. These are similar to Whitman albums in that sense. Suchibank intends that the collector place the coins into the holes with the reverse side facing up. Now let's see if it falls out. The first Series 1-1 one -one coin friction fits well enough. Let's place a Series 2 and Series 3 coin into the folder as well. And as you can see here, the acetate backing allows you to view the obverses from the reverse side of the folder. Here is the third series 1-1 one -one coin being placed into the folder. All of them friction fit well enough. There are enough holes that extend all the way to the year 2031, and the last three holes are for displaying the three obverse designs of the three series of 1-1 one -one coins. However, since there is a clear acetate back to each hole, all one has to do is flip the folder over and view the obverses through the clear acetate backing. On to the 5-1 coin folder. Here you see the title and an image of the coin. Again, there have been three versions of the 5-1 coin over the years, you see here. And the layout of this folder appears to be the same as the older version of this folder. Let me fit a 1966 5-1 coin into this slot to check the fit. It's a good fit. It doesn't fall out. I will also put in the 1970 bronze and brass versions of the 5-1 here to show you the metal color difference between the Series 1 1970 5-1 made of 88% copper and the Series 2 1970 5-1. Starting on July 16, 1970, the Korean Mint began striking both the 5-1 and the 10-1 coins on a reduced copper composition planchet of 65% copper in response to increasing trends in the market price of that metal at that time. This began the second series, which was struck until 1982. And you can see the color difference between the two metal compositions right here. Here's a 1983 5-1, which inaugurated the current Series 3 5-1 that you now see in the yearly mint sets. It was right around here that both the 1-1 and 5-1 coins started to disappear from circulation in Korea, and since 1995, the two coins have only been issued in coin mint sets and coin gift sets. Onto the 10-1 folder. As you can see, the 10-1 was issued in four different versions over the years. Let's check the fit of the first series 10-1 in its hole. I have a 1968 10-1 coin here. Fits just fine, doesn't fall out. And now for the second series, starting in 1970. This is the 65% copper version of this same design. And the third series coin, starting in 1983. The 4th series began right here in 2006. You will notice that the mintage numbers end in 2018, and the collector will have to add any subsequent mintage numbers below the dates for these coins if desired. The folder has holes for coins dated up to 2034, and the superfluous hole for, to display the obverse. I have a 10-1 coin for the 2016 hole. Checking the fit. 
Very good. On to the 51 folder. The 51 folder shows the two versions of that coin, the Series 1 and Series 2. Let's fit a 1972 51 coin in its hole to check the fit. and the second series 51 coin starting in 1983. The 51 folder has holes that go up to 2032, and the extra holes at the very end here are for both series obverses you see here on the right. On to the 101 folder. The 101 folder displays the two series of the coin, but the layout of this folder is different from the earlier version. At the end here, there are no holes for the obverses, as in the earlier version, and it instead has holes for 2029 and 2030. Let's fit a series 1 coin into a hole here to check the fit. Let's check the fit of the Series 2 coin. On to the 500 won coin folder. It's the only coin folder that shows only one version, of course, because there is only one version of this coin. This 501 folder has a considerable layout change in that the last leaf of this folder has specification information and space for the five different dates of the three Juan denominated coins. The earlier version of this folder did not have this feature. These were South Korea's first coins minted in Philadelphia each year between 1959 and 1962, although the dates on the coins only display 4292 and 4294 in Korea era dating, which correspond to 1959 and 1961 in Gregorian calendar. Let's check the fit for the hole for the 501 coin. Let's place an example of each of the Juan denominated coins. I have a very nice example of a 4292 dated. 10 won coin that I can fit in here. The friction fit of all of these coins fit quite well, which is surprising since I have heard from people who had bought the earlier versions of these albums that the coins sometimes fell out of the holes. To overcome that potential problem, the 2022 update to this album system includes these stickers, which you must cut out with a knife and insert into the inside rim of the coin holes for those holes that might be a bit too large for the coin, making the coin fall out. Let me show you that here. You have to take an X-Acto knife and you have to cut a piece off from this little strip. You insert the strip on the inside of the hole, like this, with the sticky side facing the inside of the hole. 
adding the strips to the insides of these holes like this was meant to make sure that there was enough of a friction fit for the coin just in case the sides of the hole were slightly too wide for the coin. I will also show you these plastic sleeves. The plastic sleeves have been included with the older versions of the Suji Bank coin album system too. Let me show you how it works. You open up the plastic and you put it around the back of each one of the leaves where the coins are. If you remove this plastic strip here, it reveals some adhesive that can kind of adhere the plastic strip to the other side. Of course, this is not airtight, and it appears to be an effort to keep fingerprints off of the surfaces of the coins. In summary, these folders are attractive, durable, and are a good way to display a year set of South Korean coins. However, I would not use this Suji Bank album system to display and store my higher value South Korean coins in mint state condition. The folders are made out of paper material, and folders and albums are not airtight. Therefore, the paper cardstock material the folders are made out of in contact with the coins can cause unwanted toning. Therefore, these folders are best suited for a circulated coin set or for a lower value coin set.